everyone, it's Susie from the Smoky Lake Public Library. Welcome back to After School Adventures. This week we are going to be looking at potential energy. Potential energy is the stored energy an object has because of its position or state. For example, a bicycle on top of the hill has the potential to exert energy rolling down the hill. A book held over your head can fall on your head. Or a popsicle stick bent in a strange way can pop up in an interesting fashion. So our first craft, all you'll need are some popsicle sticks and some glue. So this is going to be a really cool craft or the way we set up the popsicle sticks will be able to set off a chain reaction. Uh, but first we need to make a starter piece for our chain reaction so it'll be a little bit easier for us to make. Let's go ahead and take three popsicle sticks and then you need to lay them out. So just lay them out all beside each other the same width apart, maybe a couple centimeters. And then start sticking some forward. So they're all kind of staggered at an angle again a couple centimeters above each other so it's like a slope right and then we're going to take two more popsicle sticks and we're going to go at a right angle to these so what i mean is just um, put it flat against so the sides of the popsicle stick are still going at a perfect corner right and so you just need to place a popsicle stick so it touches all three so go ahead and just take the end of your very top one, the highest one, and put this popsicle stick right in the middle. And then uh, put a dot on each of these popsicle sticks in that same spot. And we'll place it down. Go ahead and make sure nothing is sliding out of place while the glue is still wet. And then we're going to do the same thing uh, just above that one with a second popsicle stick. So we'll have two going at a right angle, so going right across, and one after another, so just above each other, just so it's extra sturdy there. So go ahead and glue those two popsicle sticks down and let that dry. All right, so it's dry, and now I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm going to glue two more popsicle sticks in the same spot, but just on the other side. So we're gonna have a really uh, nice, secure, sandwiched three popsicle sticks. And then they are going to be the start of our chain reaction. All right, so I've got my starter piece ready. Uh, I will say this is actually much easier if you don't use cr uh, popsicle sticks. If you use something called craft sticks, you'll have a much better time of this. Uh, they're like popsicle sticks, but they're a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. So it'll be a lot easier. But for now, I'm going to do popsicle sticks. You can try with popsicle sticks if you want, if that's what you have at home. But I would definitely recommend, especially if you're getting frustrated, try and get some craft sticks instead. Uh, but now that we have our starter piece, we just have to start weaving. So first off, we're gonna start with these three and we're gonna go over, under, and then over. So stick it through like that. And then next, uh, we'll do another piece uh, going upwards. So going the opposite way. So this one's over, so now we'll go under. And then the ne next one was under and so now I'll go over and then you'll see that I'm not stretching up to the third one right because we're moving down steps as we go so then I have to put it down now but then that one goes next and then you'll you're gonna have to hold it in place as you go uh, but next then you'll go across so following the same pattern so we're just doing two sticks at a time so every popsicle stick is going to have three points where they're, they are being held down once you're done with it. But once you're grabbing a new stick, you're just going to start with doing two points. So what I mean is 
I'm just doing this stick here and this one. So I'm going under and then over. So it can be a little bit of a struggle, especially the first ones can be tricky. Uh, but over and then under. And then next stick. So as you go, just push everything into place. Next stick, I'll go up and down. And then I'm going under, over. So I usually start with under just because it's easier to push it under when you have the freedom there. Oops. So yeah, you'll, you're definitely going to have quite a few sticks pop out and it's going to get probably a little bit frustrating, but just uh, you'll get the hang of it as you go along. It's definitely something that you kind of learn a little bit more as you go. So there, over, under. And now... Just keep going. And then you'll see like this, I don't know if you can see, this stick here is completed. It's got one, two, three points where it's touching. And then you just let go and they'll pop up. It'll be more impressive the longer you get. <laughs> but potential energy cannot exist on its own. What happens when that potential is realized? It becomes kinetic energy, the energy of motion. All right, so now we are going to be making our catapult. So what we uh, are gonna use for this is some popsicle sticks, a disposable spoon, some rubber bands, and then you'll need something at the end like pom-poms or just some balled up piece of paper. You'll need something light that that will be your projectile. So that's what we're gonna be shooting with our catapult. All right, so first step is just to take a th three or four, I'm gonna go with four popsicle sticks and just line them up like that and rubber band them together. So one rubber band on each side. Then stick this off to the side, take two more popsicle sticks and rubber band them on one end. So just in the same way, so stack them. So make sure this band is nice and tight because we're gonna be pulling this apart and we're gonna be sticking our other stack of popsicle sticks in between. So sandwich it in, stick it in as far as it goes, but uh, don't push the elastic band off, obviously. And we're just going in the middle like that, so it's a nice cross. Once you have that spot, then go ahead and rubber band all of it together. So stick uh, your rubber band over the stack of four and cross it over. So you're gonna, you can use two rubber bands if you have enough and just kind of make an X shape. So I went from here to here and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So over the stack and then down to the bottom side and just oops, back and forth that way. So it's nice and secure. Okay, so everything's all stuck together. Now we've got our spoon. Go ahead and stick it on the top popsicle stick. So my spoon is pretty big, so it's going to have to jut out a little bit, but that's all right. So just make sure it's stuck on there nice and tight. So I did it at the top and I think I'll do it at the bottom as well. It's a little tricky, right? Because your rubber band has to stretch really far. So just attach it the best you can. But there, so it's, see it's attached only on the top stick. And this is basically it. So what a catapult is, it's, it's taking the potential energy of a position so this is how it rests, this is how it wants to be. And then we're pulling it back. And then there's this stress on the shape, right? The position is what's causing that potential energy. And then hold on to this side a little bit better than I did. Then it will shoot 
your projectiles. Pew! That's all I have this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have fun with these crafts and uh, I hope you learned a little something. I'll be back next week with another video. 